Hi, this is Miriam from the Skip to Cookie channel, and I just got a lot of books from uh, In Stock Trades, so I'm going to show you what I got. First up, we have a series that a lot of people have been talking about, and that is Lumberjanes. So I've been really longing to read this series. Um, I was a bit disappointed that the drawing style isn't that the that that, um, that it's not drawn by Noel. Uh, just the covers are drawn by her, but other than that, I will wait and tell you what I thought about it in my wrap up for May, because I mean I'm reading this right now. And then we have another one that's really really cute, and that is Batman Little Gahem, and it's drawn by uh, the same person that draw drew. <laughs> um, the sender, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, that wasn't the sender. Uh, yeah, so it's the same same artist, and I really like this style because it's like it's watercolor. So I think that's so so cool. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to read this one. And then we have a, not a big surprise, I guess, for people that saw my last haul video, because then I bought volume two, and here we have volume one of all new X-Men. I've been planning to read more X-Men stuff, so uh, I heard this was a good starting point for new readers, because uh, I haven't read any X-Men comics really before, except for the all girls comic that I thought, I think the title is Primer or something like that. I've forgotten about it. Anyway, that was that one. And then we have Night of the Living Deadpool. And this uh, looks so cool. And since I love Deadpool I um, and zombies, uh, I'm really hoping that this is as good as I hope it is. Because it looks cool. And then we have more zombies. And this time... Or I think it's zombies. I'm pretty sure it's zombies. Could be vampires or stuff. I don't know. Um, that is The Strain Volume 1. And I have Volume 2, 3 and 4 that I bought secondhand. So now I can finally start reading this, this series with the Volume 1. It looks scary and gory and cool. And yeah, I'm hoping that it's good. And then we have the last one in a series that I've read, and that is Mind the Gap. So this is volume three, and as I understand, I think this is the conclusion of the series. Oh, well, I hope so, because um, it's a really good, like, kind of thriller mystery series, and I hope it wraps up nicely in this one. We will see. And then we have uh, Gotham Academy volume two. And I really thought the first one was really cute and funny, and I really liked the drawing style, so I'm hoping that this is as good as the first one. Um, and then we have another series that I've been really, really, really hope like, that I've really been looking forward to read the rest of, and that is Rat Queens. Um, and this is volume three. I was a bit disappointed in volume two because of the artists change and the drawing style is really different but this cover looks pretty pretty cool actually so i'm hoping that um it's the same kind of style inside and i like the story it's really fun so looking forward to reading this one and then we have another continuation in a series and that is rumble volume two it's a really cool and a unique kind of drawing style in this series so I really liked the first volume, and here we have volume two. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to reading that one as well, obviously. And then we have a first volume in the series, and that is Silk, volume zero. And yeah, so this is a, uh, it's volume zero, and it's I think I don't think it this story continues in volume one. Because this is leading up to, what is it, Secret Wars, right? Uh, so it's just this one. 
um, and I've already read it, but I'm going to save my review of what I thought about it in my wrap up video for May. And then I probably need to refresh my memory because apparently I've forgotten how it ended. And that's probably because I've been reading a lot about this series afterwards. So I'm keep like uh, mixing up what I read and, as a comic and what I read like online. Um, yeah, but Silk is a really cool character. So yeah, this is nice. And then we have something that I've been looking forward a lot as well. And that is I Hate Fairyland. I can't speak with that on top of my mouth and you can't hear me. Um, yeah, it's drawn and written by Scott D. Jung. And I, spoiler alert, I've already read this one and I love, love, love it. So, um, yeah, it's, it's so messed up, but so funny and so cute and so gross at the same time. It's just awesome. Um, I'm going to show some pictures inside and talk more about it in my wrap up video. But yeah, I love this one. It was great. <clears throat> and now I lost my voice. <clears throat> And then the last one from In Stock Trades is Batman, um, The City of Owls, and that is New 52 Batman Volume 2. Um, so I've actually just reread Volume 1 to uh, get up to date, up to, sp up to get up to speed with the series again. So yeah, looking forward to reading the rest of the series. And last but not least, we have two mangas that I found at my parents' house that I read when I was like 15. So I thought I would check them out and read them again. And that is Helsing, 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 um, volume one. And then it's uh, Crescent, Crescent Moon, volume one. And uh, I don't really know that much about these two, but since I already had them at home I thought and now I'm starting to read more manga that so I thought why not I could give it a try I mean it's it's free since I already have them so yeah uh, and that was it it was a lot of comics and I'm really looking forward to reading all of them so I'm really happy and um, yeah bye